Friday, I'm Morris Jones with Linda Scott, crime reporter and rule our guest on Noon Day Today, talking about the Ted Bundy murder case. We have brain researcher T.D. Lingo, home repairman Lon Gallup, and renowned balloonist Ben Abruzzo. Can you believe it? The Aspen are already turning, and there's some red in there. They're from Blackhawk, Colorado, which our next noonday guest is from. He is T.D. Lingo, a brain researcher with his own think tank of sorts in Blackhawk, a well-known brain researcher and a psychologist type in this area and around the country. You started, though, as a folk singer on KOA many years ago. Yep, Pete Smythe, General Store, and uh, I needed a lot of money quick, and so... Um uh, I started out as a folk singer, and then from here went to um, Groucho Marx and uh, did some uh, work there in Hollywood and then to New York City, and then uh, they gave me a lot of money there, and I grabbed it, and I ran. I came back to Colorado, bought a mountain, uh, retired. Bought a mountain. Yeah. Good. And on a piece of the rock, or on the whole rock. Yeah. Sure. And, and then uh, retired into a life of scholarship, and now we have the Adventure Trails Research and Development Laboratories up there near Blackhawk, and this is where we're doing the brain research. We're going to talk about that in a second. Let's go back a second to Groucho Marx. What's the clip we're about to see now? What's the clip? Uh, well, it shows I... you in Groucho. It works. Oh. It'll be a surprise then. Well, fine. This is let's let's see. TD what, let's... Lingo with Groucho Marx. Take fine. a look. Let's see it. Okay. Where? Sick <laughs> when I'm a hungry, rye whiskey when I'm a dry. A green backs when I'm a hard up and religion when I die. Come on, can you harmonize? Can I harmonize? I'm just waiting for somebody to ask me. Jack the Diamond. Isn't that something? T.D. Lingo wow. many years ago. <laughs> the Pardon? good old days. You, you better believe it. And the good old days have returned right now. 10th Street Studios, as 10th Street Productions did a documentary called Lingo, and that's an excerpt from it. Let's go now to the brain after okay. we've... Uh, done that routine. Yeah, we had it yesterday, and I had to put it back in so we can't show it anymore It's a two-part series. Of if you missed yesterday's, you, you missed seeing the brain. We had uh, the crime reporter on talking about Theodore Bundy. And yeah, I saw it. The, the mind of criminals. Yeah. Is there a part of the brain that uh, tells someone to kill? Yes. Uh, over our 400 million years of evolution, every human brain has three brains in it. Uh, the, and the back part is called the reticular activating formation, and that is the locus of the killer ape behavior. This is the locus of war, this is the locus of, of crime and killing. And so that if uh, there is a switch in the middle called the amygdala, and if that switch is pushed too far back, then there is no conscience uh, and, and because the killer ape has, has no emotions. And uh, so that by learning how to control the amygdala switch, you can click it forward into the three-eighths bulk of the frontal lobes, which is the nirvana, uh, born-again peak experience. Uh, this is the transcendence experience. But it is self-controllable after one learns about the parts of the brain. Fascinating. Now, yesterday we talked about people who are not using all of their brain, you know. Right. And there uh, could some, be some, very many people. Well, some like researchers uh, say that 90% uh, uh, of the brain is dormant. All right. How do we, how do we fix that? Uh, as we said yesterday, learn the, um, uh, learn the brain parts. Just like reading... No. Reading a book about a bike or a car? Right, what yeah, you learn first. the parts, and then there's a, a, a series of procedures that you can do for yourself. And it's simply meditating first on the cortex, then meditating on the temporal lobes here, and then finally meditating on the hippocampus, which is an organ very deep inside. And by releasing the adult, and then the child, and then the infant repressed trauma memories, this turns loose the energy of neurosis, which then automatically shunts into the amygdala, which is culturally conditioned back towards the competitive part, and then this automatically shunts into the amygdala, it automatically clicks forward into the frontal lobes, and then you have this enormous nirvana, born-again experience in which you see God. 
It's what religious mystics have been going after for thousands of years, and now every individual who is self-motivated can do that themselves without going to a guru or to a teacher. For people who want more information, how do they contact you in Blackhawk? You in the phone book? No, I have no electricity up there. Uh, Ling, uh, my name is Lingo, and uh, my town is Blackhawk, Colorado, and there's only 65 people there, so just uh, a post, uh, just no, send a self address stamped envelope and we'll send you some research reports. Okay. We've got lots of those. You can go Blackhawk, Colorado. Okay. You wear a big hat occasionally too, don't you? That's how they can spot you in Blackhawk. Don't you aren't you known for for a big hat that no, you wear? No. Now Leo McGuire, our news reporter, said ask me about T D Lingo's hat. <laughs> oh, the one with the flowers yes. in it. Oh, well sure, we always carry some flowers and uh, and some pine Good. around. <laughs> next time when you're back next, let's see how the Aspen are doing then. They're changing very fast, aren't oh, they? Oh, yes, they're going to be gone, just like life. T.D. Lingo, thank you very much.